Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica MDM Cloud. In today's session, we are going to see the architecture of Informatica Cloud MDM. When you access Informatica IDMC, you will able to see the various microservices such as Customer 360, Data Integration, Data Profiling and so on. So how these components interact with each other? how the underlying archi architecture of these components. And that is what we are going to see in today's lecture. So if you see in the screen, there are two parts for implementing Informatica MDM Cloud in your company. Assume that you have the on-premise components and then there will be some cloud components. The on-premise component and the cloud component will be interacting through the firewall. So on the left hand side of this firewall, we can see all the components which are available or present in your organization on premise. On the right hand side of this firewall, we see the cloud components. And those are also divided into two parts. The topmost part is nothing but the IDMC or Informatica provided cloud infrastructure along with the microservices. And the bottom you see the, the cloud components which are implemented by your organization. So organization might have some apps which are available or come as a cloud service. Now let's understand how this interaction happens between the on-premise component and the Informatica IDMC component. So let's start with the very first action. So you will have the users on the right left hand side you see that the people icon is nothing but the business users or the administrator or your the developers those will be accessing the informatica services such as informatica business 360 or informatica administrator component and that will be accessed through the identity service so you have to make sure you have to log in through uh, and it will use the uh, identity access and then it will connect you to the intelligent cloud services which is informatica provided cloud platform you have the option to access this intelligent cloud services to the saml authentication as well now let's go with our regular authentication identity authentication so once you connect to the informatica cloud services informatica cloud services will have the various component it will have its own user interface to show the various services so services is nothing but the each function functional unit in the screen we can see there are four microservices are listed cia cdi b360 and dq cai is nothing but the cloud application integration or you see the application integration as a component then cdi is nothing but cloud data integration or you'll see the component as a data integration B360 stand for the Business 360 console and DQ stand for the data quality. Then all these microservices need a metadata and that, that metadata will be stored again in the multi-tenant repository which is a part of the Informatica cloud. We have to remember this. This data is stored in encrypted format and it uses AES 256-bit. Now how about the business data? Business data will also be stored on the cloud and it will have its own database. So in short, the Cloud Informatica MDM component contains its a IDMC user interface. Then MDM services will be exposed as a microservice and those microservices along with the additional components will have their metadata stored on the cloud and our business data also stored on the cloud. Now we understood what are the things present in the Informatica cloud services. Now when you are going to interact from your on-premise components such as on-premise might have some applications, you might have the data warehouse or you might have the legacy database. All these components would like to connect to the data which is present in the Informatica cloud. How can you do that? For that, First of all, you need to have the secure agent installed on-premise. 
Informatica also provides the runtime environment which you can use as well instead of the security agent. Security agent is used to execute the job or execute the task which will be needed to process the data or process the some of the functionality which are needed in your organization. So this security agent is installed either on Windows system or Linux system. It is very secure connection. Uh, it is used to make it secure connection and also to access the logs. So in order to perform all these actions, you need to have the secure agent. Now the secure agent can be connected via proxy as well, but that's the optional. Now to connect to the data, which is in the Informatica MDM, it uses the TLS 1.2 connectivity. So it's very secure again, it's a TLS connection. So whenever you try to access the data from the Informatica cloud to your on-premise components such as applications, data warehouse, database, you have to go through the secure agent and the secure agent will connect to the intelligent cloud services and that will bring us the connection and you can fetch the data or you can process the data. Now you have your, suppose you have your own cloud where your applications are running. That those applications need to again go through this secure agent which is on your premise and that secure agent again will connect to the Informatica MDM cloud and it will bring the data from there. So this way the multiple interactions happens between the your on-premise component and your cloud component. So the cloud component, again there are two parts, your organization's cloud and the Informatica provided cloud components or the intelligent cloud services. So this is the overall architecture of Informatica MDM. Now here we have to remember one thing. Uh, you might have the question about how the disaster recovery works. By default, the intelligent cloud services are enabled with a disaster recovery or it's a, has it's a, uh, when one of the component falls down on one server, it has this other server which will pick the service, uh, pick the functionality and continue execute. Only one thing you have to take care is the make sure secure agent which we are going to install on premise, it is also enabled for the disaster recovery. Rest of the things will be taken care by the IDMC. I hope you understand the architecture of the Informatica Cloud MDM. In the next lecture, we are going to understand several other important things about the Informatica MDM Cloud. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or queries, or if you are interested to know any specific topic about the Cloud MDM, you can feel free to mention in the comment section of this video. And please do not forget to subscribe my channel. It helps me, it helps me to create more such a content um, going forward. So thank you again, have a wonderful time.